Windows 10 is losing support on October 14, 2025. What does this mean? Well, it basically means that Microsoft is phasing out Windows 10. Over time, it will slowly be on the rearview mirror. This does not mean that you won't be able to use it. It just means that you won't be able to get important security updates, feature updates, and updates for software and components. This creates a problem for the millions of older computers that require Windows 10. Let me explain why this is a problem. As I mentioned, there are millions of computers that run Windows 10. You may say, well, just use Windows 11, or what about Linux? Okay, okay, one step at a time. Windows 11 has some requirements that older systems do not meet. For example, Windows 11 requires 4 GB RAM, 64 GB storage, TPM version 2.0, and these other requirements. The challenge remains in that older computers do not have TPM 2.0. This is a security feature now found in older systems. It basically is a chip on a motherboard or CPU that enables hardware-based security to protect data and systems. Another big issue is that there is a ton of CPUs that are not compatible with Windows 11 and are decent processors for simple tasks. What will this create? Well, a massive amount of components that may be discarded, creating a lot of e-waste. Now, some requirements are more problematic than others, but it is a concern that many systems that may be abandoned if Microsoft continues to push for everyone to upgrade to Windows 11. What about Linux? Well, let me make this short and sweet. Many people are not great with Windows. What makes you think they will make a smooth transition to Linux distributions? Now, I trust all of you and anyone can make this happen, but it requires time and commitment. Look at the percentage of users who are using Linux. This is going to happen gradually, so it is not the best option right now. A topic for a different day. What if I tell you something? There are ways to maintain your Windows 10 system. Yes, all is not lost. So let's discuss how to maintain your Windows 10 after the end of service. Okay, the first option that we have for maintaining our uh, Windows 10 system is if you go to check for updates, you're gonna see here, it's gonna give you an option that says enroll now. It looks like this, learn about the end of support, enroll now. And basically, if you go to enroll now, it's gonna open a screen and it's gonna tell you um, that uh, you can get an extended uh, support is the extended security update program to get another year of support from Microsoft. You go next, you got to have a Microsoft account to be able to get enrolled in the program. So if you don't have one and you want this option, you're going to have to get a Microsoft account. So, and this is how it's going to look. Okay, basically after you log in, it's going to ask you which way you want to upgrade. Uh, the first option is you can synchronize your computer settings and it's going to allow you to get the extra year for free. You have to synchronize with OneDrive or the cloud all of your uh, settings of your computer and it's going to be for free. The second option is a thousand points, Microsoft reward points to be able to get the one year support, extended one year support. And the third option is $30. Whichever option you think is the best one is up to you. If you have, uh, if you don't know if you have their reward points, just go and check. You might already have those points because it's really easy to get them. Uh, I think you can get them in a few days or a week. But whatever the option that you choose, you apply it. And then it's going to tell you that you have been successfully enrolled in the program. That is the first option that you can use. And something to inform you guys is that uh, you can sign in, uh, get enrolled and then sign out and the system should remember that your system is on the ESU program and it's still gonna get updates throughout the year. So if you want to try that out, if you don't have a Microsoft account on your system, try that out. And something else, every year, the cost is gonna go up. It's gonna double. So it's gonna get expensive really quick. So the first year, good. But after that, I wouldn't pay any more money. If, it's, if it starts getting expensive. Also, something else that I forgot is that if you don't see the Enroll Now option, don't worry, they should be phasing out over time the option. Some systems are not seeing it yet, but it should come to you if you don't see Enroll Now. And now let's go to the second option so that we can see how to maintain our Windows 10 system with another alternative. Okay, we go to Google and we're gonna do zero patch. And we're gonna go to this website. I first heard about Zero Patch on Reddit and I got to see some videos covering it. Basically with this option, Windows 10 will be supported with security patches until the year 2030 or five years with possibility for more depending on demand. 
Apparently, with this option, you will get security patches with a client. The patches get applied in memory and you won't even need a reboot. They provide zero day patches, security patches and supported system patches. On their site, it says that they are the only provider of unofficial security patches for Windows 10. Also, they have done Windows 7 and another operating system. I recommend checking the website so that you can make an informed decision to see if this option is the right one for you. We all have different needs, so let's check out this website. So on zero patch, let's check it out. So here on the menu, you can see Windows 10, right? And look at this, they're already talking about the coming of uh, Windows 10 end of support. And they're saying is, uh, uh, don't worry about it. We'll have you covered. You go to buy now and you are going to see here, they have a free option, but you see they don't cover a lot of things like the professional one does. And it's only 25 euro per year, which you, uh, that would be, uh, probably $30 in, in us dollars, I think. And they have a few other things here that you can check out media partners, contact, if you want to check them out and you want to verify, uh, their website and their history. You can see here, they're talking about what customers complain about windows 11 price comparison between ESU. So the one we talked about right now and the price with a uh, zero patch, they also have a section here that says patches. And they talk about the different patches that they have here. And they say they don't worry about all the patches, but the most important ones. And I have not tried it. I have not used it, but I have heard people talking about it, that this is the other alternative to maintain your windows 10, uh, with security upgrades at least. And it seems like a decent option for the price and it seems to be, uh, they see, they seem to be, to have been in the market for a while. Uh, making patches for windows seven too. So if you want to check them out, uh, read more about them. And like I said, make an informed decision. Do not start buying stuff. Wait a little longer until Microsoft, uh, says more information about windows 10. Plus you have a free upgrade. If you have a Microsoft account and you can just uh, synchronize your settings and then leave them. And then when it gets more expensive, we could revisit some of these. Uh, so let's check out, uh, our, uh the third option. So here we go to Windows 10 LTSC. And I'm going to go here. Windows 10 has an option called LTSC. This version of Windows 10 is going to be supported for a longer term. You only get security updates as this is a more slim version of Windows 10. These licenses are not acquired through Microsoft by consumers. Basically, these are volume licenses for businesses that they buy in bulk and they assign them. But do not worry, there are ways to get a license for a reasonable price. Why is this an option? Well, this option will allow you to run Windows 10 and get security updates. It also performs well and is stable. There's reduced bugs and is bloatware free. Some users even game on LTSC. Now let's cover some of the negatives. There are fewer apps or lack of new features, limited software and hardware compatibility. No Microsoft Store, which can also be a good thing for some. You also need an in-place reinstall to upgrade to newer versions. So if you are someone that requires Teams, all the new Windows tools and features, Outlook, etc., you might want to stick with regular old Windows. How long will these versions get support? Let me show you a section here that it says. Okay, um, here is uh, some of the dates for Windows 10 LTSC and IoT. Windows 10 LTSC January 12, 2027. Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC, January 13, 2032. So you can see here how the dates go on beyond uh, some of some of uh, the stuff we're seeing right now with uh, regular Windows 10. You can see here 2034 with uh, this 24H2, 22H2. And the thing about uh, these uh, LTSC systems is that, like I said, you don't have support from Windows and it's gonna have a very slim version of resources that you normally use. So you're not going to, you may not be able to run a program or feature that you normally really like. And if that's the case, you might have to stick with uh, windows 10. And like you like you saw, it's not too much more extra money. So if you are already accustomed to windows 10 home, maybe you use a lot of the apps there for work, personal and apps that, you know, you're not going to get over here. You might maybe stick it out there for a little longer with windows 10 home or pro. Over time, you may start seeing less 
support from your favorite apps as the system was not meant to run all these apps and services like the regular Windows. There is also ways to bypass unsupported apps and install them. But like I said, this is a more slim version of Windows aimed at supporting commercial control systems and a system that remains unchanged is a preferred option for these kind of uh, companies. Like I said, if you are technical, you may be able to squeeze more out of this operating system. The compatibility is not guaranteed. Now you may be asking, what is my best option? Well, that I cannot answer. We all have different needs for our systems. You may find out that you don't run much or you run a lot of apps and services. I recommend everyone to do some research on what option is best for them. My personal choice would be to get the extended support for a year either paying $30, paying with the 1,000 reward points, or doing the free option. Uh, after that, prices will increase and zero patch might be an interesting alternative to continue using the system with a more reasonable price and consistent support. Now, on the other hand, you may be a more technical user that experiments and knows how to find workarounds in Windows, and you are not tied to Office tools or Windows apps or features or work apps, then maybe LTSC is good for you. I will be making some videos on Windows 10 LTSC if you are interested in running an operating system like this. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you are interested in. And like I said, some Windows 10 LTSC is going to be, it's going to look the same as this Windows 10 minus all the bloatware and minus a lot of different applications and services. You're going to get very, uh, a strip version of Windows 10. A lot of people like that. Now, this is the end of the video. I hope you all learned something new and hopefully have a better time transitioning to this end of support that is coming up. Should you have any questions, let me know down in the comments section. I know that it may be a difficult time, but we will still have a few options for continuing the use of our Windows 10. You all take care. Loco Techman out.